Well, hello everybody and good afternoon. Um, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Um, I came out exploring this forest road today with actually no intention of making a video. I just wanted to come out and scout it, um, maybe take a couple of photos um, and just kind of see what was out here. Uh, but I packed the video stuff anyways, just in, just in case. Um, and I'm glad I did, because it's pretty interesting. I, I, I'm, I'm impressed by what I've found out on this little road so far. Um, there's so much water. It's been raining a lot, all of the snow is melting and all of these little streams and the river and everything is just like completely just just, just rushing water everywhere. And uh, I love that. I love photographing water. It's one of my favorite things. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, I'm going to kind of walk around this area where I parked and uh, shoot some, I'm, I'm assuming long exposures of these little streams. And there's, a, there's access to the river over here that I wanna go check out. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, we're just kind of checking out a new area today uh, that I'm excited about. And um, that's it, we'll go from there. Well, this river is absolutely beautiful, but uh, the light's not exactly working for me right now. It's it's very, it's very bright, washed out, diffused. You know, th all things I've pointed out in previous videos, and it's pretty normal for this time of year in this area. So I think I'm going to focus on smaller, more intimate landscapes today. Um, find some waterfalls and some streams and shoot those, which I think will work much better. The last time I had any of my camera gear out was last weekend uh, when my wife and I took a little camping trip out to the Olympic Peninsula and I, I haven't taken anything out since then and I, I shot some watery areas there too and a bunch of water just came out of my tripod. I should really remember to, you know, open up all the gear and air it out when I get home. Um, but that was a fun trip. I shot this image, which I was pretty happy with. And it kind of gave me the inspiration to come out today and look for scenes like this. So I think it's, I think it's pretty funny that I did my little walk up and like set my tripod down. Like I was on some big trail when my truck is like right here. So I haven't really gone too far, but uh, that's okay. This is what this little um, composition here is what made me pull over in the first place. So let's get this set up and shoot it. I know this is probably uh, old news to people that shoot the Nikon Z range or maybe other Nikon cameras, but I, I didn't realize when you're looking at the image, when you're composing on the, on the screen on the back, if you hit the video record button on top, it clears the screen of all the like data and information about the image and then you can just see the pure composition. I didn't know that. So if anybody else out there uses a Z-series camera and you're annoyed by that, there you go. That's the, that's the easiest way to do it so far. All right, so I have this image composed uh, the way I like, and it's, it's, very, it's very cool, I think. So we've got the stream coming in on the left side of the frame, but then there's this tree in the foreground uh, with these branches that are like bright white. Uh, and so I think it balances out the, the white from the stream, from the, from the rushing water and the tree. I think it balances out pretty well. Feeling pretty good about this one. So we're shooting it at ISO 64 F11 for eight seconds.
Well, I crossed the stream that was running near the road and walked into the forest a little bit, and wouldn't you know it, I stumbled upon one of the most beautiful scenes I think I've ever seen. It's, it's like a fairy tale. It's, uh, there's water everywhere. There's all these, the, the stream splits into all these different little channels. And there's this, um, the remains of the stump of this old tree right at the nexus of, of where all this water's splitting off. And out of it, there's a beautiful, delicate little sapling growing up and it's just being caught by the afternoon light and it's absolutely beautiful. It's not actually too cold out today, but the mosquitoes are everywhere and I'm, I'm being uh, chewed up as I speak. So the hood's up to try to keep them out of my ears and off the back of my head. One of the many joys of being bald. Overall, I'm really excited about this composition. I, I think it looks so good. I'm uh, a little disappointed with the, the light right now. It's, <laughs> which is funny, because this is what I've been asking for. I've been asking for some directional light, you know, trying to will nature into helping me out. And finally, as I get it, I don't want it. The light's not changing. It's, uh, we've got this dappled light coming in through the forest. So I'm saying, forget the water, not forget the water, but it's not gonna be a main element in this composition. I'm punched in right on the tree, um, fully at 120 millimeters, which is as far as this lens goes. Um, it's, it's wide open, which is F4. Um, and I think this composition looks so cool. I'm so happy with it. So uh, I have a circular polarizer to take a little bit of glare off some wet spots in the background. Um, and then I have my uh, circular ND filter to slow it down just a little bit to capture a little bit of motion in the background water. And I'm gonna shoot this before I lose the light because now I wanna use it. All right, so four seconds, F4, ISO 64, here we go. All right guys, well that was a pretty successful little scouting day, I think, that was pretty cool. Um, hopefully those images turned out. I, I, I loved getting out there and just being in nature and, and seeing some of that, you know, just seeing some things I haven't seen before. It was really great. Um, so I'm gonna continue to drive this forest road for a little bit. Uh, if I come across anything else worth pulling over and shooting, I'll, I'll break the camera back out. Uh, aside from that though, I um, just wanna say thank you for watching this probably shortish video today. Um, thanks for coming along for the ride. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I've got for today. Um, until next time, take care.